know, when we started off uh, the second season of Project Food Garden, uh, I remember I did uh, the first episode on 25th of uh, July. I was reviewing this patch and uh, check out that uh, from that time to this time, I mean, the plants are absolutely coming to the height where I am. So the reason of uh, today's video is to show you the growth of the Logan Berry. I remember we did uh, a video when it went to blossom. Today we'll show you uh, the first harvest that we're doing from the Logan Berry. So it has grown absolutely out of proportion. Uh, what we have done is, I'm just trying to fix the lighting here. So what we have done is, I've, I've started training this to go on top. And now on top, I'm gonna train, train it to go horizontally on the fence. And uh, I cannot uh, stop appreciating the fact that it is less than a year old. A few people have asked me for Loganberry cuttings. Working on it, as soon as I'm done with uh, harvesting all the fruit, I will definitely make at least a dozen cuttings out of it and uh, propagate them. And of course, they would be uh, going to uh, the fellow gardeners in uh, Christchurch. So, I have been showered with uh, a lot of love and affection and care from all the fellow gardeners. I mean, I was handing out uh, my strawberry plants yet again. I've got uh, <clears throat> a string of wild strawberry in my garden, which multiplies like wildfire. So, in the last three days, five people have come over. Thank you so much to all of them. Uh, really really appreciate the support I needed to clear a few things uh, I'm planning to get uh, the yellow alpine the strawberry I'm trying to propagate uh, Momo Ichigo the Japanese heirloom variety so I want to be able to clear a few spots in my garden where I can put uh, that uh, new two varieties in so that concludes uh, all of the berry collections that I have done so far today we had an amazing friend came over to get some uh, strawberry plants from me and uh, she bought an amazing set of raspberry canes from me. Thank you so much, Jenny. Really, really appreciate that. So on that note, <clears throat> let's go and show you the kind of fruit that we are getting from the Logan Berry. It's not a lot, but uh, since the fruit was ready, we wanted to share that with you. We will be doing uh, multiple harvest, but, and I, I'm not sure if I would be able to cover all of them. So we thought that we'll cover the first one to give you the idea of how beautiful and juicy the fruit looks. Let's get on with it. So we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, start taking uh, the Logan Berries. We're gonna try and uh, harvest those, which are half ripened and full ripened because uh, we love, <coughs> excuse me, we love uh, the sweet and tangy both. Especially when you're making a jam, it gives uh, multiple flavors within the jam if uh, your berries are fully ripe and uh, almost 70% ripe. So I'll show you guys in a sec, because uh, it's a difficult place in my garden where I'm sitting right now. Take a look at this. If this can be zoomed, take a look at this. This is such a healthy berry. I mean, I totally love um, the size and shape and the color. It looks really good. The reason of doing the harvest today is uh, that I don't want to waste any of my berries. Uh, a lot of them are not ready and uh, quite a few of them are ready. So the ones that are ready, <coughs> I'm putting them <coughs> straight away into the freezing box. The rather freezing container I bought from the kitchen. Mm, nice and ready. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay, so almost done. Let me have a quick look inside in the wine if there's anything left. So I think we are pretty much good to go. Let me have another quick look. I think we are good to go. And uh, the good thing that I'm happy about is it cannot be focused through the camera. Uh, it has started, it has gone on to the second blossom. So, what we have uh, harvested just now, 
I know it's not a lot, but you know what? And 11 months when you bring in uh, a plant about less than a year ago, we will get uh, like uh, the quantity that we have. We will have like uh, at least six to 10 more harvests. So by the time we are done with picking up the fruit, there will be loads of berries in my freezer. So let's get on with the rest. So uh, the berry plants that I was just showing you, the frames, uh, this is a special uh, thanks going to Anfa from Westport. Uh, she was really kind. I was absolutely humbled by the gesture when she had sent over three karaka berries and three black raspberries. And uh, just wanted to show that uh, they are doing really, really well now. And uh, I'm uh, preparing a patch for all of these uh, berries to go out. You can see in the background, I've got lots of raspberry things. And uh, I've uh, settled them down. I want them to get out of the shock. Once they do, uh, I will transfer them over. We will build the system for the raspberries as well. And uh, on that note, I think uh, we will bid you goodbye. My cat always invites me, uh, invites herself into the video. So on that note, we'll bid you goodbye. Have a lovely morning, of evening, afternoon and night. Stay safe out there in the pandemic. and. Uh, We'll see you soon. Let us know how you like the Logan Berry. It's absolutely amazing. We'll snap freeze all of them and uh, we'll be making a mixed fruit uh, jam for all the berries. Not the mixed fruit, mixed berry jam. So on that note, uh, leave us your feedback. Give us uh, a like. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel. Have a lovely day to you all. Goodbye.